Hey guys, it is me, Lightning here, back with another Poppy Playtime Plush review, and today we'll be reviewing this unofficial Bunzo Bunny plushie. Yes, guys, so first of all, you're probably like, hey, why reviewing, uh, you know, unofficial plushies? Well, you know, first of all, this unofficial plushie was actually sent to me for free to review by, uh... I sadly forgot the company's name. I'm super sorry. But they're like an independent company. I guess like making like, a, I guess, new plushies or unofficial plushies off of popular characters and new popular upcoming game things until like, you know, official ones officially come out. So they actually sent me um, a, a PJ Pocket Pillar. And let me just go send in. So you guys, image. The reviews are already up right for him right now. Don't forget to watch him. He is an amazing plush. Cannot wait for you. Well, I didn't review him first right now. But by the time you guys are watching this video, he's going to be out first. So make sure that video out. And also, if you do want to go actually buy this, you know, since they sent it to me for free, you got the link in the description to go and buy it. I think it costs like $20. Not too bad, you know, for the knockoff. And I think you can even sell some base what? If you use my code, that's going to be up on the screen right now. Why? It's not focusing on this. It's not showing the beautiful quality. But if you uh, go and use this code right on here on top of the screen, you know, you'll be able to get 5% off. And you better let them know that you got, an, uh, got the plush off of me, you know. So they know. I guess how many plushies I sold off the video. But yes, this is an official plushie here. You know, you can go buy if you want. You don't have to buy if you want if you're waiting for the official one. But let's just go talk about this. And all I gotta say is this is an amazing plush. Let's go and hop into the details. So guys, my first things to talk about here is that yes, he's definitely tall. How tall is he? He's like... I guess a few, like maybe five inches shorter than the Huggy Wuggy plushies, the official ones, you know, those really tall ones. Yeah, it's pretty tall and way bigger than I thought. But when you go to the actual stock image, you guys can actually see it's a different photo. Because you guys do know when I reviewed the whole photo showing you guys Bunzo and PJ Pugapillo, you guys wanted me to buy so bad and told me, asked me where the link was. So, you know, I got it. I was able to get a free plushie for that. So thank you to you guys, too. And also um, this plushie here. It does look obviously a little bit different than what we saw now with that plushie, but I definitely do like this one. I like the whole cheek print. I mean, I like the whole sewing on here. Like, not everything's all printed. It's really kind of like nothing that's printed here, actually. Like, no color printed. And I really do like that. They really did lots of great details. It's just that his mouth doesn't have the teeth, but maybe this is the innocent version. I'm assuming it's the innocent version because it doesn't even you know, have any teeth. It has the smiling big bug teeth. So, this is obviously, I guess, Happy Bunzo. His two little bangy bangy things that I still do not know the name, even though you guys all commented the name last time. I'm just to call it bangy musical things are a little bit black here even though they're supposed to be not a little bit though fully black even though they're supposed to be golden but you know that's definitely okay he has you know his little hands up here he has his green overalls he doesn't have a little bunny tail i think in the game he does have a tail so that's just one little thing in inaccurate here too and he has his long arms that look like bananas for some reason <laughs> but um <laughs> the question is he cannot actually stand yes he cannot stand you try to make him stand, he just falls down and breaks his legs. Rip a bunzo. But beside that, everything else about the plush looks really amazing. I definitely do like his whole top ears here. The little floppy ears that go anywhere all over his face. This little, like, I guess, feathery uh, flock stuff. So, so his little hair coming out, you know. His little, he also has, you know, both the ears are really great detailed and really great quality. Definitely do love it. And also, he got his hat, like, in the game, too. They did an amazing job making detail from detail. Even though, obviously, he doesn't look as game accurate as Bunzo does look in the game. We gotta remember, this is obviously an unofficial plush. And, you know, also... It's a plush. You can't really get all the detail uh, of a plush off him. But, you know, beside that, the whole time face printing, let's just get the camera actually focus here. Something that the camera doesn't like doing much often. But they got everything spot on. Like, his little green colors. Don't know what they guess his paint job he has on his uh, what's on face. His little pure black eyes that could look into your soul forever. Yep, don't worry, that's terrifying. And also, his uh, red cheeks are just like, like Pikachu. Yep, he's Bunzo Chu. He is the one and only Bunzo Chu. But beside that, I definitely do love everything about this plush. I definitely do think it's amazing. And I guess while we wait for the official Bunzo to ever come out, I guess you guys could go definitely go get this. It's not too bad, and they usually have sales often here, too. And this is not like, you know, an official... Fi it's not like a... What's my name? One of those plushies... You know, not like a bootleg plush, that's what I was trying to say. This is actually a little bit different, I called an unofficial instead of bootleg, because bootlegs usually, you know, have a whole 
bunch, like, there's a stock all over the place, like, on Wish and everything. You probably could see them on Wish, but they're going to be a little bit, I guess, more terrible quality. But I definitely do, do like the way they actually put some good quality and very good detail into them to make him look like the best Bunzo, I guess, they could be right now. So, out of a 1 to 10, what would you guys rate it? What do you think they're actually missing? And do you think there's something off about it? You know, what do you think? Do you, what would you guys actually rate it? The only thing I, well, I think I would rate it, I definitely rate it, and overall, it's a 7 out of 10. The reason why I didn't get anything higher is because they're all missing, you know, his tail. And also because the banger thing is, I don't know his name yet, it's still not golden. And also the whole head shape, I guess it's just, the head shape looks good for a plushie. But when we come to the actual Bunzo, at, you know how Bunzo actually looks himself, it's still not as, you know, accurate as it really, really is there. And the hat doesn't have its, like, little stripes. I think the game actually does have, too. So there's just little things that's inaccurate about it. But beside that, the plush is really good. And that's the only reason why I'm rating it a 7 out of 10. You guys just tell me, guys, like I said, in the comments below, where would you guys rate it? And if you do want to go get it, use my code to get 5% off. And, you know, the link in the description if you guys are interested in buying it. So, yeah, now it's just about time we wait for the official Bunzo plushie to come out. If you want to see almost other videos, like, you know, the PJ Pug, put an official plush review while we wait for the official one because it is the official one is coming up next for you know pj poker player and if you want to see almost other popular plays on plush reviews plush news even the new fat mojo lineup of toys i wonder if they're going to be making a bunzo bunny plush because i think they, they said something about bunzo bunny no idea if they're going to be making an official plush of him so we have to tell if this one will be able to beat fat mojo's plushies or if this plushie is going to stay elite for even not being official who knows maybe they can even team up with them and try to make a little more accurate bunzo bunny making an actual official plushie who knows? Tell me in the comments below all your little thoughts and little theories of what could happen. And what would you guys rate this plushie? And if you do want it, or if you, you know, even if you already have it and knew about the website before, you know, I even talked about it. You know, or maybe use the link from the last video when I talked about it like a month ago. But anyways, guys, thanks for this video. See you guys all in the next video. Goodbye.